India Supreme Court today asked the Central Bureau of Investigation to file a fresh report next Tuesday in the Kolkata rape and murder case. This after the probe agency flagged the forensic report in the case. The court also asked the protesting doctors to return to work, telling them that no adverse action will be taken against them if doctors return to work by 5 p.m. tomorrow. However, the top court cautioned doctors that continuous abstention from work may result in disciplinary action. Appearing for the CBI, Solicitor General of India, Tushar Mehta, said the central agency had decided to send samples collected from the crime scene to the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, that's AIMS, in the national capital, Delhi, saying that the victim was first found in a semi-naked condition. The CBI said, who collected the samples? This has emerged as a relevant question in the probe. The samples were sent to CFSL in West Bengal after being collected. CBI also raised the issue of CISF personnel deployed at the RG Cor Medical College and Hospital not being provided with proper accommodation and security gadgets. The Supreme Court asked the West Bengal government to provide housing to CISF personnel close to the hospital. It also asked state government to provide the personnel with the gadgets that they need by the end of day. A bench of Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur and Justices J.B. Pardewala and Manoj Mishra resumed hearing the Suomoto case. In an earlier hearing, in a earlier hearing, the court had termed the incident as horrific and ordered a 10-member national task force to formulate a protocol for ensuring the safety and security of healthcare professionals. Meanwhile, protests continued across India and world demanding justice for the 31-year-old doctor one month after, after the incident. On Sunday, hundreds of people hit the streets in various parts of West Bengal at midnight in the third edition of Reclaim the Night campaign. The body of the trainee doctor was found in a seminar hall of the medical college on the 9th of August. The case triggered widespread protests by doctors demanding greater safety for women at the workplace. Thousands of diaspora Indians also protested in more than 130 cities across 25 countries on Sunday. Organizers said that the protests started in large and small groups across Japan, Australia, Taiwan and Singapore before spreading to cities in several European countries.